Okay, I wanted to follow up on Dollar Tree, our free pick for this week. Um, you can see this is the daily. Uh, remember we had this resistance line right here. If it broke above that, that's where we were going to buy. It never did trigger. 3085 was our trigger. Uh, hit 3075 for the high of the day. So it's a no trade. Um, but still, I like the setup. It's certainly worth watching over the next several days to see if the market turns around. This could be a good breakout above here. So worth keeping on your list. Um, I'm going to show you another one of our uh, gap plays that we always talk about. This doesn't look that good now, but the Dow's down 150. It's been selling off all morning. Um, but we had it on our gap play watch this morning uh, due to this. We saw it was going to open all the way up here, right here, above all of this. Certainly worth watching. We figured if it opened here, it could make a run at this 30, which it ended up doing. And I'm going to show you how we played it. Um, go to the five minutes. And here you can see the, the range from the top of the first five minutes, uh, 29.12. The low of the day after that was 28.63. So that's 49 cent range. Um, we don't mind buying the high of the day break when the first uh, the first opening range was 49 cents on a almost $30 stock. That's that's reasonable. So the actual trigger here would have been the break of 29.12, the high, the early high. 29.13 was the trigger. We actually grabbed it, or I did myself, on our five-minute setup. You got the two lower tops. Then when it broke this candle's high, I got it at 28.94 which made my stop at 28.62 real nice and close for a $30 stock. Uh, bought a thousand shares. As it broke the high of the day, I sold I think 500 in here. I sold another 250 around here, and I sold 250 here. Uh, and it did go farther, but I was perfectly happy to make a quick $500 in the first hour of trading. Um, anytime I can do that, then it makes the rest of my day go smooth because I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, I've got a nice cushion to trade with, so. Uh, good trade there, but even if you bought and played it as the uh, traditional gap play, 29.13, this thing went all the way to 30.15 uh, for a dollar, over a dollar a share gain there. So however many shares you had, you see what you could have made today uh, playing Logitech as a gap play. Um, that's probably our big play of the day. A lot of them, I'd say most of them didn't trigger. Um, I do want to show you Sprint Nextel. We had this on watch as well on the daily chart. We liked it. Well, let me zoom in a little bit here. It's too hard to see anything. We liked it above this two-day high here. So we had it on watch. We put this on our other charts to watch list. And if you go to 15s, these candles are kind of small because you have this big wide range candle here, which made the rest of these look tiny. But you had your lower tops like we look for. Um, and this one had 668 high, another 668 high. So this right here, 669, is the first break of a previous candle's high. And you can see it went all the way to 718 for a very nice percentage gain. Personally, I was uh, dealing with another trade uh, and missed this one, but uh, they were happy in the chat room today because uh, I think several people caught it on that GSP setup, 669. A great percentage gain there. So just wanted to show you a couple of our setups and uh, tell you to keep that Dollar Tree on your watch list over the next week or two. Uh, we still like it above that 3085 high.